Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, um, given you know all the support you guys have been really showing the channel, uh, given a few of the videos that we recently released, sort of talking about the top five things you can do right now for the Burning Crusade, as well as me sort of uh, going over the best Phase Six farms and you know just sort of capping all those off and how well those videos are doing tells me you guys want as much phase six things to do as well as tbc stuff that i can give you so obviously i gave you top five prep things um but today this video is going to be sort of about the things that are going to be sort of noob traps and things to watch out for um Obviously, I've been very transparent with this. My experience with Classic WoW as well as the Burning Crusade isn't that much, you know. I can look up things and I haven't um, been able to play through it. And that's been the real reason for me wanting to play through it. I started in Wrath. Um, but just sort of all that and learning about it. Um, a lot of this has come from a lot of guildies um, and, you know, those people who have played TBC and put in tons of hours on it and they really truly loved the game as well as private service and all that so that's where a lot of these tips and things come from because you know that's what I do and I wouldn't be making this video or any video covering the Burning Crusade if I didn't you know feel confident in my ability to sort of relay these points and make sure that this information is good and valid so I just want to address that I saw a comment um, on one of the videos sort of um, addressing that like why where's your credibility at and I just wanted to sort of be honest with you guys and uh, get into that before we sort of talk about these subjects. Now, the biggest noob traps that I have gotten um, here is, you know, day one, the portal opens. Um, you're going to be on your server. Um, and so they haven't really talked about mergers or anything like that. I'm on Scarum Horde, so it is a 99% Horde PvP server. So I personally don't think I'll have to deal with too much Alliance, but, you know, we're on a PvP server. I hope they do some merges to address those population concerns, but, you know, that is what it is. Anyway, the first tip I have for you is once you come through the uh, portal here and you're, you know, you're on your journey, one of the biggest traps is going to be wanting to quest. And, you know, questing here is going to be ridiculously hard. Um, there's going to be some intro quests that you do have to do. Um, but once you're Horde and you get to Thralmar over here or Alliance at Honor Hold over there, you're going to want to set your hearth there. I think that's the biggest first step that anyone can sort of do. Um, and then the trap that you're going to come into and what you're going to do, want to do instead of of uh, doing these quests here is to really focus on um, dungeon grinding and dungeon grinding is going to be insane they added a ton of dungeons in tbc and all of these dungeons are you know the uh, kara attunements uh things like that um that are really really going to be huge so obviously the first one you come to is going to be the hellfire ramparts that we're going to see right here um, the one that you guys should do is actually skip Hellfire Ramparts and go straight to Blood Furnace. Blood Furnace has so much more experience, um, even at 60, as well as we are going to be, for the most part, AQ, Nax geared. Um, I'd imagine most of you watching this played a lot of Classic, and so you have the gear you're going to be going. So right here is uh, the Blood Furnace instance. It's the one up top here, and that is the one that you are going to want to spam. Um, spamming that till you're uh, honored, or or you can go to Revered with Thralmar or Honor Hold, if you so choose. Um, that's a huge step because that unlocks the Shattered Hulls uh, Heroic Dungeon, which you're going to need a key for. Um, and they're all reputation bound and those heroics at the end are really really big in order to do that so do not fall into the leveling trap guys do not go to ramparts go straight to the blood furnace and you'll be well well on your way so that brings us to our next point and for me it is going to be talking about crafting so crafting in the burning crusade is huge like everyone needs like every caster wants tailoring every uh melee person wants blacksmithing to build an awesome weapon um there's just so so much that comes um here when you go into the burning crusade and you got to be aware of this because 
the mats, the professions, they are going to be so, so big. And what I want to talk about is sort of the best way to manage those materials, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and why. So if you're coming into TBC, you're going to have a lot. Uh, you're probably going to have your gathering maxed, um, as well as sort of making a plan for the professions you want and then going into it. Now, mats are going to be selling, like whether you're mining, herbing, even the nether weave cloth, for instance, it is going to be selling at the absolute highest um, at launch. And those prices can be super tempting. Um, and so what I wanted to sort of address, like me personally, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to try to level my stuff and farm out the mats I need. But after that, I'm going to also look to sell a lot of those materials because with people moving in with the gold they have, as well as people being able to um, uh, sort of monopolize things, I guess you know what you need. Like there are going to be tons of people with uh, the cloth bots, uh, getting those shadow weaves, spell weaves, stuff like that, as well as you know just pretty much farming those materials that everyone is going to ultimately need and bust their butt towards. So the biggest trap, it, it just really I want you guys to prepare to maximize. So pretty much min maxing your professions, looking at your tailoring, looking at. Um, uh, whatever you have like I'm tailor enchanting on my mage and I tend to main a mage in that as well So what I'm going to do is sort of plan out how much spell weave all that cloth I need to get as well as sort of the enchanting materials as we go through that get my enchanting up as well and sort of cover all those um, Profession tips and stuff that'll be I'll have way more in-depth stuff on that but also what I don't want you guys to miss out on is those max profit prices so I like I almost want to tell you guys if you do not have any inf interest in going hard getting that uh, awesome crafting gear really early I want you guys to sort of just sell your materials because that is the highest point they will be then everyone's going to start playing it and the more they play the lower those prices are going to go and that's going to be really really big for you guys in order to sort of uh, get all the materials you need and get money to sort of fund your rating and gold now there are a few limited patterns but for the most part there isn't going to be any pattern rushes really um, when we come into TVC so don't worry too much about that because you know when you go to the shop you can buy the ones that you need which is really cool nothing like a room cloth bag i believe there is one thing for tailoring that you need to get but like i said we'll have more detailed profession guides uh later on when we get to it um then finally the biggest thing if you're on a pvp server i would strongly 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 i know i know people are who PvP all the time, we're going to hate this tip, um, and obviously if you're on a PvP server, you can do it. I myself am on one, but I'm going to recommend that you do not PvP because ultimately when you're there, um, it's sort of a waste of time. It's a trap. It's not going to really get you to 70 where the arena, the true PvP comes. So I would definitely recommend just not to PvP till you hit 70 honestly focus on these dungeons focus on leveling uh those everything like that because it is going to be a huge huge uh, gain for you in the long term and then you know pvp to your heart's content because it is going to be uh pretty pretty freaking big um especially with arenas i'm excited i might even get into some more pvp i tried it in classic got but it was just spammy the zerg like it didn't really come into anything kind of ruined it for me and i only got to rank six on that phase two launch so you know i that's that's my pvp experience i did uh get pretty high in kata and mob i didn't do a decent amount of pvp and i enjoyed it then so maybe we'll see um but anyway guys that's sort of all the biggest do nots that i have for you guys coming into um this first uh launch week for tbc um if you think i missed any tips anything you want to add please 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 let me know i'm happy to read any comments and sort of add them um in or you know mention them in another video and you know i love having sort of an open free forum for you guys to discuss so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you next time Bye bye 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.